So hello, welcome. This is the third presentation of today's Dictionaries and Lexical Databases, Block 2. And our next speaker is Olena Sinchak from the Catholic University of Lviv in Ukraine. She will be presenting on a very current topic, her research about military feminine personal nouns in Ukrainian language. Thank you. Your floor is yours. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Um, I'm very glad to be here among the people who like dictionaries. Um, this um, uh, women which you see here, they are now on the front line and I will present the vocabulary which appear just because they are active and they are fighting. So uh, military uh, feminine uh, personal nouns. I am the compiler of the web dictionary of feminine um, personal nouns, which uh, was published uh, last year on the dictionary platform air to ukrainian org UA. And um, since one hour, a lot of change happened, and I will share with you how uh, in a one year Ukraine language has changed because of the uh, war. This dictionary, this web dictionary um, was uh, designed for online publication. It has full text search fun functionality. Um, to find a word, uh, it's necessary to, choo uh, to choose here. Um, oh, among um, among different different dictionaries on the platform direct uh, here uh, there are a lot of different dictionaries on the platform if you choose a web dictionary um, if you are um, not sure how to create this feminine form you can write the masculine advocate and then you will find this entry and you see that um, it will be underlined in all entries um, where the word is uh, this used. Um, this, uh, this dictionary includes 2000 entries um, and um, the, um, yes, it's online dictionary. What is new is that uh, we use corpus data and uh, language panel um, are also used um, um, uh, when people are not sure which suffix to add to create a feminine form, um, uh, then we uh, we ask the, the experts um, what they what are the um, thoughts about this, and the um, these results are also. Uh, explicit in the dictionary. And also sometimes uh, um, I use, um, uh, I show my view as a compiler and uh, show my recommendation if uh, the, the, the word is very uh, discussable. Uh, so uh, feminine personal nouns um, is cause a heated debate in Ukrainian society nowadays. Um, some people think that it's better to use them uh, referring to women and others say it's better to use masculine form and it's a big debate. But uh, we have among 6,000, 9,000 um, items and only half of them are codified in our explanatory dictionary. It means that half of them are just used and not codified. Um, how we create this, uh, we uh, can create from masculine form. We have three most active suffixes. Ka, itza, inya. We add it, um, for example, oficer, oficerka, uh, viskovoslužbovic, uh, serviceman. Uh, to create viskovoslužbovica, we add suffix itza. Um, uh, we have all, uh, also suffix inya, strilet, strilchinya, female shooter. Uh, and sometimes we add just endings a, uh, like witness svidok uh, svitka. Um, it's most common uh, way of uh, derivation. We also can create this uh, mass feminine uh, by the way of co-derivation, uh, like uh, spetsnaz, uh, special forces. We can add uh, create spetsnazivets or spetsnazivka from the spetsnaz. Uh, they are uh, not from created not from masculine form but from a general noun. Um, uh, because a lot of these words are not codified, people are not sure which suffix to add, and there are a, a big um, mass uh, in Ukrainian society nowadays. There are a lot of variants, so uh, I try to work with this in this uh, web dictionary. Um, uh, interesting that um, media coverage of these uh, items grew up, especially after 2090s. You see that it grew up um, 
uh, almost half. And um, um, especially after full-scale invasion of Russia, their use in uh, media uh, increase um, uh, very much, uh, very visibly. Um, and in Ukrainian society, there are different um, attitudes towards feminine terms. Um, there are very uh, negative. Um, uh, people say that these words are artificially created. They are, it's just linguistic fashion. It means that it will go away uh, with new trends. It just uh, nowadays trend. Some people mention that it's unusual, non-convenient, not codified. Uh, it's difficult to derive to know which uh, suffix to add. Uh, some consider them aesthetically unappealing. Uh, some consider them offensive for women, and so on. It's uh, these negative attitudes. People also meant the, uh, mention that uh, it's all um, often. Uh, um, Grants uh, supplied by grant. We have this grantoide, uh, people who eat grants. Um, uh, and positive attitudes uh, um, are among the feminists in human rights movements because people, especially during the war, need this vocabulary to describe um, the crimes which happen or something. They need this uh, vocabulary. Uh, so it's gender fair language. Um, and uh, uh, positively, um, uh, um, uh, uh, people say that language change and we should adapt to this. And um, uh, some people mention that it's our way to move away from Russian language rule, which were um, uh, uh, Ukrainian uh, language were uh, adjusted to this. And uh, also people uh, mentioned that it's, uh, the linguist mentioned that it's the revival of identity and originality of Ukrainian, and it's the way to show our difference from Russian language. So uh, uh, there are such uh, polarized uh, thoughts. And um, when we talk about mass of military feminine terms, um, I think that people um, consider them um, more positively as negatively. Um, uh, we see that the um, dynamic of this war-related uh, feminine terms um, are, um, co uh, correlates in corpus uh, vi uh, and in life. Um, so uh, since uh, 2015, uh, the number of women in Ukrainian army forces increased, and now it's the biggest in European countries. It's almost 22% of women and uh, we see um, it's uh, um, on the material of rock corpus uh, for the 20 years in, pre in press um, the, the, this war related feminine derivatives uh, increased since 2014 when uh, women um, enter into army forces and um, it continue uh, to grow. But is interesting that um, if we compare um, to other vocabulary in other spheres, uh, like in sports, for example, we will see different dynamics. Uh, for example, in sports, uh, the dynamics um, is um, it has some peaks, uh, approximately because of some sports events happening in uh, in these years, uh, but in um, uh, this military uh, feminine uh, terms uh, has this um, peak uh, after 2014 and it shows that it's not a fashion, it's a language response to a social uh, change. Yes, so we, sh we see this, it's not, um, it's not because of fashion, uh, this change happened in language. Um, so, um, for, for my study, I collected this military uh, feminine terms, and first source was the web dictionary. It includes um, 76 items. Um, uh, it makes 5% of the total number of the words in this web dictionary, and you see that there are often um, different variants. Um, uh, to name the service women, for example, Viskova, Viskovichka, Viskovica, Viskova Slushbovica. Um, four of them name the women in a, in a uh, uh, service women. Um, 
it was the first source. Uh, the second source um, uh, was based on this. Uh, I was asked by our uh, media experts to create uh, the, um, this list of military terms for them. And um, it, uh, it, co it consists of um, um, more than 100 items. Um, uh, and uh, our journalists need these words to uh, um, to describe uh, the, the situation now. And it's an uh, open resource uh, behind the news um, uh, on the site. Uh, um, the only difference between these two sources is that um, uh, here description is um, condensed. There are uh, less information here. And uh, uh, it's not possible um, uh, uh, it's, you can only find by the uh, letter of alphabet. It's not possible um, to, to have the f uh, like in uh, this uh, uh, the full s um, text uh, siege. Um, um, here in this um, resource, there is also this interesting to know section. Um, when I draw attention to uh, special synonyms or um, other variants, uh, how to name uh, women. Uh, and the last source is a Grag corpus, um, uh, where, then, uh, where I look for un unlimited uh, uh, terms um, using the uh, SQL uh, query, which combine um, semantic and um, morphological tagging um, uh, by looking for the suffixes or uh, regular expressions. And um, with the help of these three resources, the uh, list of um, military feminine uh, list of these terms includes 134 items. And um, um, based on this list, um, we can say that uh, mil these military um, uh, terms include uh, refers to women who directly participate in a military action, like uh, sergeantka, uh, tankistka. Uh, or a woman uh, who served in supply or and assistance link of her army, like a uh, female volunteer, uh, param female paramedic, while uh, this is uh, during the war also very dangerous. Uh, um, uh, what they do, and I think they, uh, it's uh, also uh, can be named as military, and also a woman involved uh, or affected by war, like um, female partisan or hostage. Partizanka uh, uh, Most of these items refer to Ukrainian women, and only uh, three percent denote women engaged in the war from the Russian side. And it's interesting um, the, this vocabulary which appear, like haulaiterka, uh, female haulaiter, okupantka, female okupant, opolchenka, female member of pro-Russian militia or paramilitary group, and boyovichka, female combatant fighting in the site of the Russian occupation. Um, but most of them uh, positively nominate uh, Ukrainian women, um, uh, which act. Um, very actively at these at these circumstances. Um, if we compare uh, how much of this vocabulary are presented in our explanatory dictionary, that only set of them are uh, in the modern dic explanatory dictionary. We have two of them: uh, sum eleven and sum uh, um, twenty, um, and uh, thirty-seven percent developed after um, the two thousand fourteen. Uh, it's again show us that it's not uh, the uh, fashion, but a response to social demand. And what um, what as a change happen? Uh, like today, people not use often uh, soldatka. Uh, more uh, service women uh, uh, are more often used uh, uh, since uh, 2014. It increase. Uh, it's interestingly that in Ukrainian diaspora in US, people associate the name soldat with Russian soldier, not with Ukrainian. Uh, Ukrainian soldiers they, they have other way to nominate. Uh, and um, if uh, if you look at the thematic group, that the most present is uh, nomen agentis uh, and uh, military rank. Um, uh, also, like Generalka, Leitenantka, Desantnica, Navidnica. Um, in this way, uh, language acknowledges the achievements uh, of uh, women. 
and um, what is interesting is that uh, this military rank for women are used uh, very often in press, uh, but they are not used in military discourse. They are excluded from official uh, military discourse. They all some also of them change their meaning. For example, before um, soldatka and polkovnica nominate uh, women uh, because of the uh, profession of men. Like uh, Polkovnica, it was uh, uh, the uh, woman of uh, colonial. And now we change the meaning. It shows that uh, this um, uh, women who have this uh, position or this profession. And uh, uh, I don't have a lot of time. I will just show uh, which words change their meaning. Um, uh, if you compare the uh, Hrak uh, da data f and the uh, ex explanatory dictionary, we can um, notice that heroinia and heroica change their meaning. Um, um, now, uh, because uh, in, in explanatory dictionary, it's only heroi. Uh, masculine have this uh, meaning outstanding abilities and activities. Now, heroinia, it also have this. And we have this uh, um, Slava hero. hero Heroyam uh, and glory to heroes and heroine, and uh, women who performed this uh, heroic deed distinguish herself in something. Um, heroica have the same meaning, only a new Sam appear um, that it's fearless women who, who are not afraid, for example, to take her child um, uh, at the front line and uh, take it by car to another city. And in this context, uh, it appears this new meaning, um, heroica fearless. We also have this heroica Ukraine uh, as a honorary title. Um, uh, and one more change, uh, Zachistnitsa. Uh, in explanatory dictionary, it's um, uh, explained as a uh, woman who protects something from some somebody. Or, or uh, Now we have very specific meaning that it's women who protect citizens of her country, protects the territory integrity of her state. And we have this uh, day of uh, defenders of Ukraine, Dein Zachistnikiv and Zachistnitsa Ukraine. I will... Uh, some other change also happen. We have new idioms with uh, these military terms. Uh, for example, um, alone in the field, Vario, uh, Odnav Poli Voenka, before it was a uh, male um, a term, now we have uh, a female. Um, um, uh, some of these military terms have um, um, ambiguous meaning, uh, and they have also uh, are used in sport, like sniper. It can be in military and in sport. Um, and um, to conclude, uh, the first of all, uh, this uh, nouns show us that they appear not as a tribute to fashion, but a language system responds to a social demand. The majority of feminine personal nouns uh, were produced between 2014 and 2022. Uh, explanatory dictionary contains only a third of them, and uh, but the corpus-based dictionary uh, for describable such linguistic material have greater functionality at all stages of lexicographical work. Uh, and um, uh, we are thinking how to um, apply this quantitative data from the corpus um, but there are a few variants uh, in supporting of one of them. Thank you for your attention. And thank you, Olina, for this interesting presentation. A lot is going on in Ukraine, and I can understand that the language doesn't want to stay behind either. Are there any questions from the audience here? There is one. Thank you, Olena, for this interesting talk. It's a very relevant topic. And I was wondering uh, if you'd just go back to the attitudes uh, towards feminine nouns. We can see that uh, the attitudes are quite mixed. There are negative views, there are positive views. And I was wondering if the women, the Ukrainian women in the Ukrainian military themselves have particular views on these uh, feminine terms. And another question is, do you think that the Ukrainian society will, be, will become more responsive or will have more positive views on these uh, feminine terms. Thank you. Uh, thank you. It's very hard uh, to generalize uh, this because as you see here, uh, like here, it's all modern uh, women. Some of them I uh, 
I follow in uh, social media and I knew that they um, positive, have positive attitudes, but in, in militaries are different women. I cannot generalize. Uh, I, I suppose that some of them can have negative uh, attitudes. Um, but I think that uh, these um, military terms uh, make a lot um, for these positive connotations because uh, what I see uh, before, uh, women were very active in sports and these nouns are very positively um, um, uh, presumed, yes. And I think that uh, uh, mostly um, military terms uh, for feminine are also pursued positively, I, um, except uh, these high ranks. I think for the um, general public, it's not easy to, uh, um, to accept that uh, uh, generalka or sergeantka, I, I think uh, um, he, where there is prestige, it's not e easy to overcome, but with the help of uh, uh, rights movements, I think uh, it will, it will be, uh, we will go through this stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we have anything from the audience online? Nothing, no questions there. Any more questions here in the room? This one? Oh, thank you. Uh, it was very interesting talk. Is there a, is there could it, uh, some examples uh, that it's very hard to make a feminine term? Um, for example, I don't know in Polish, you know, this sociolog socioloshka doesn't sound very um, mm -hmm. common. Maybe mm -hmm. um, are there some examples in Ukrainian? So it's uh, yes, we have some. For example, strateg. Uh, but uh, we have this suffix inia, we could add it strategia. It's not very common, uh, but sociolog, sociologia, it's a very, um, very good developed model now in Ukraine for these professional titles when it's loch inia, it's uh, good, uh, work good. Um, uh, when we talk about military, there is no problem to create, only um, problem is perception of people have the what their attitudes towards. But uh, grammatically, with military, no problem to create. Um, there are some specific terms which uh, may have some problem. Just a curiosity. Any example where, uh, where the, fem the military feminine term has a pejorative uh, meaning? Because no, because I, I'm I'm just curious because for example in Portuguese, yes. for the domain military, uh, military we have uh, the feminine uh, words that you use in Portuguese as a pejorative meaning. So oh. if I, for example, sergento and sergenta, oh. sergenta, uh -huh. I can say, and w what is happening in Portuguese that we are trying to use uh, just the article u a sergenta because the feminines are very pejorative in our uh, language, and I'm just curious uh, about, uh, no. Uh, we don't have, a s uh, I, d uh, I don't mention this, uh, um, only few of them uh, uh, can have uh, this, uh, like commanderka, it can have, uh, like in or ordinary, it can be used in or ordinary context about other women who is very demanding, uh, uh, but, um, not really is it negative uh, because of, I think the context of war gives us a very glorification and mostly it's very positive. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. We need to stop now, but you can continue after the presentation, obviously. Thank you once again, Alina.